All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Wahar Rakar Kodesh, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. Rakar Kodesh, it's the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who we won't teach you all in the scriptures. Salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, once again, you have the spirit of Jezebel, all right, roaming the earth. And you got, you know, these uh, Israelite women, you know, and those Israelite women know that they're Israelites on top of that. They are of the circumcision. They're trying to, you know, teach the men of the Lord, you know, uh, uh, scriptures, okay? And they're perverting the doctrine, all right? They're trying to, you know, uh, you know, add and take away, okay? And, you know, as you can see, you know, by this photo, you got these women out here that are pushing, uh, once again, um, that polygamy is wickedness. And you actually, you know, have uh, memes, you know, about this, as you see on screen. Okay, you have uh, these women on, you know, social media talking to one another about how this is wicked. Because um, I've seen, you know... An actual post on um, what these women were saying and and it's just completely off you know hey but that's you know um the spirit of uh this world all right and you know this world is uh um this world is run wickedly all right it's a it's a, a you know a satanic uh world that we live in and you know th and this is just completely off and this is why we say that you women aren't really in the truth, okay? It's nothing personal. It's just it is what it is. And you know what? I'm going to start off with this scripture here. All right? To back up my statement, this is Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am Yah I am your power, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay? So really, the, the ones that are going to follow Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai, okay? You know, um... And, you know, um, follow the lamb wherever he goeth, okay, is, uh, uh, is the men, all right, are the men. You women, okay, you know, uh, are going to follow by default. And that's because of the great calamities that are going to come. You're going to have to humble yourself down. You see, these women, they're still in league with uh, the serpent. They're still getting, um, you know, bit by the serpent and that, that venom, that poison, all right, you know, which pretty much goes into that doctrine is uh, is uh, um, corrupting your mind, okay? And you women really think that that uh, that the Lord, you know, uh, you know, you know, His ways are uh, wrong. Throughout the entire Bible, men had multiple women. This is a common thing. Okay, in the ancient world it was common. Even to this day, when you go to certain parts of the world, a man having multiple women is common. It's just, see, you, you uh, women, you know, like I said, you, you've, been, you've been corrupted by the serpent. And you live in a westernized, you know, you live in a western society. You have a westernized mindset. Or you think that you're something special and that, you know, a man has to only be with you. Which, that's madness. The Lord created, you know, uh, as this world, you know, roughly, uh, um, they say that roughly, you know, there's for every one man, there's seven women. The Lord did that because the man is supposed to have helpmates. He's supposed to spread his seed, all right, his children, you know, uh, throughout the, you know, the, the earth. Okay, we're supposed to be fruitful and multiply. And how can a man do that with only one woman? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, but you women, you know, you're about to get a rude awakening. See this? We're going to see, all right, who was right and who was wrong. Okay, and I want to get um, another one real quick. Um, it, it, it's in Revelation to also prove that, look, the Lord is only dealing with the men. That's called order too, by the way, which you women don't like. Are uh, you women hate order? All right. 
You know, you, you, you women hate it. But the Lord is, you know, he's putting back that spirit in the earth again. All right. The spirit of order is coming back. All right. And then the order is, is being Yahweh being the almighty. Okay. To the ancient of days. Then below him is Yahweh Shai. Okay. The Alpha, the Omega. You know, the, the son uh, of the uh, the living power. The son of Yahweh. The only begotten son. Below him is, you know, uh, of course, the, you know, uh, you know, the 144,000, you know, King David. The rest of the 144,000. But as you know, the book of Corinthians says, 1 Corinthians, that, uh, you know, uh, the Israelite man is uh, below the, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai. And below uh, the Israelite man is, is what? The, the woman. So you women are going to get back in order very soon. Okay? But uh, I got this in Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. And he, shall, he, he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with, uh, with them and be their power. Okay? So that's just another quick scripture to prove that the Lord is, uh, you know, only dealing with men. Okay? Because the rest of this stuff that's going on, this is madness, man. That's why we say, well, you know, I'm not even going to say this. is why the scriptures say, look, out of a, you know, a thousand women, um, well, uh, uh, you know, as King Solomon said, out of a thousand women, none of you are righteous. Not one of you. Okay? You are just, you know, you know, wicked uh, creatures, man. The Lord uh, made you that way. Okay? And it says here, Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. I'm going to start at 27. Behold, this I have found, saith the preacher, counting one by one. To find out the account which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. So, you know, hey, King, King Solomon, you gotta remember, King Solomon dealt with a lot of people, a lot of different nations on top of that. Okay, he dealt with men, women, okay, from all, from all over. And this is what he said One man among a thousand have I found. But a woman among all those have I found, have I not found? Lo, this only have I found, that the Most High had made man upright. All right, you see, right there. The Most High only made man upright, and only out, out of all, out of a thousand men, and on top of that, Israelite men, if we want to get specific, only one of those uh, men out of a thousand are going to be righteous and upright. Okay, you women are just. You know, you just, you're just wicked creatures. It is what it is. You know, it's not personal. It's just the way the Lord designed you. Okay. And you see, what's what's so beautiful is in the kingdom, you're gonna be in your right mind. Right now, you're just, you know, you're just so tainted. And that's why they, the men of the Lord, hey, we're looking for, as the scriptures say, a new heaven and a new earth. We're tired of being around this stuff, man. We're tired of seeing, you know, memes like this. Now, this is just wicked, man. A woman cutting off her husband, a husband's head because he's got multiple wives? That's wickedness. You're actually pushing the, the, the uh, destruction of your nation. That, that's how, you know, backwards these uh, women are. Okay? You're literally um, doing the dirty work, okay, of Esau. All right? Hey, but hey, these are the curses, you know, and, uh, what is that? In Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay. But, you know, let me finish this off and I'm going to hop into that. But it says here, but they have sought out many inventions. And that's talking about uh, the Israelite man going into philosophies. And those philosophies have done what? Corrupted them. Corrupted their minds, corrupted their way of life. Specifically, the Israelite man. Okay. Because everything starts with, you know, uh, the man. All right. And with those, you know, and those philosophies have done what? Corrupted, you know, uh, the women, the children. All right. 
hey the community so on and so forth all right but uh going back to this you know this picture here all right you women help for the affliction man okay but like i said this is a curse this is a curse in deuteronomy 28 because it's what's so crazy is if you notice it's only the israelite woman that does this stuff okay it's only the Israelite woman that, that really pushes this vibration. You don't see a Moabite uh, woman do this, or an Ammonite, or you know, you know, a Japhite woman, or the Edomite woman. You don't really, you do, you don't really see this. Well, what well, 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 community pushes this heavily? It, it, it's the Israelite community, the so-called Black Latinos, Native Americans. All right. That's a, that's just a sign right there that shows you. All right, that we're the Israelites because our women are against us. As it says here in Deuteronomy 28 and 56, the tender and delicate woman among you, which will not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Okay? And that's that evil eye. Like I said, this, this is actually uh, uh, helping destroy the nation of Israel. Why? Because a, a woman is jealous? Because really what it comes down to is the, the reason why women don't want you to have multiple wives is because now she's not as a, a, a poor asset, so to speak. Okay? Her value goes down. That means she can't control you. She can't control your mind. Okay? That's the only reason why they do it. You know? Yeah, but th this stuff is going to... Uh, it's going to go very soon. And you, and you women that are in this spirit, man, especially you Israelite women, you're going to have a terrible death, man. You Israelite women that know that you're Israelites, okay? You're going to have a terrible death for pushing this vibration because you're supposed to know better. You're supposed to know better, okay? Hey, but you know, you know, uh, the, the, you know the, the, these spirits are going to come, you know, around. Is there going to be um, an opposition, a necessary opposition, all right, to the righteous, okay? And they got a job to do. Hey, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, hey, we're going to keep bringing out scriptures, all right? And we're going to, um, you know, uh, you know, through the, like I said, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, we're going to get these scriptures out and cut you people, all right? We're going to, you know, pull down your, you know, uh, uh, your strongholds. We're gonna slice and dice your philosophies because, hey, it's not. If it's not of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, it's wicked. All right, simple as that. And look, the uh, the joy of of the of the hypocrite is before a moment. Okay. Hey, this rulership of the wicked is only uh, but for a moment, and it's coming down. Okay. And anybody that's joined hand in hand, you know, with this devil, hey, you're you're gonna be destroyed along with them. Simple as that. And I think I'm going to end it with that, you know. Hey, you know, hey, they, you know, for, this is, you know, mainly for you walking out there. Look, no, hey, don't, you know, give, uh, especially for you newer, you know, brothers out there, don't get so wooed off these women, you all right, that have, you know, you know, a, a, a head wrap on, that say shalom, you know, or shalom, okay? That, uh, that, 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 you know, know a few scriptures. Hey, these are the worst ones, man, to be honest. And I, I'm just, you know, speaking through, you know, uh, uh, you, know uh, uh, you know, I'm giving a personal testimony, man. Hey, they're the worst, you know, women you could deal with is really an Israelite woman that actually knows that she's an Israelite. Because they start trying to, you know, uh, teach you. They try to start, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, combating you with scriptures, man. Okay? They're just a big ass headache, man. Simple as that. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Asha? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone and salutations to all you, you know, Akimatu, push the word in all truth and all sincerity. Shalom, all.